Don't play. Don, I tell you the truth. My little nephew plays better. Play something happy. Hmm? Can you? Can you play something happy? Nice material. Don't touch me. How do I know you've had your grubby hands? Well, I'd say you look like a big man with a big plan. I'll tell you who I'm taking out. She has supernatural powers. Ooh! <laughs> you mean she's a witch? That's great. Hey, Sammy, get me one, too. Hey, Sammy. Don't leave me out. I want a date with a witch, too. We can triple date. You can't stop eating long enough. What? Come on, man. You can do it, Sammy. That's why I eat so much. To fill the longing in me. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, you drink. Yeah. I suppose I do. But not the way he eats. I'll stop if you, you can't do. Stop, Poncho. I'll stop right now. Okay, time's up. How about that? That was good. You outdid yourself. Yeah. Whew. You all right, kid? So how about it? You in shape for tonight? I'm in shape right now. I got a box in the amateur meet tonight. This is it. Come on now. Let me take you out. Not my style. Yes, sir. Enough with that picture. Just keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. Jimmy. Sir? What do you think this place is? Got in beauty power or something? Get it out. Yes, sir. Stop drinking. And just how am I supposed to get to sleep tonight? I said stop drinking. Yes, sir. I'll stop. Georgie? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. What am I supposed to do? Just wait? That's right. Oh, Poncho. Yes, sir. Poncho, don't you remember you ate? Yes, sir. I think so. Jimbo. Jimbo. Sir, I'm ready. Good. Done. Sir, I'm all ready. Good. Now listen to me. These guys are well armed. Be careful. You go at them like you mean it, and that's an order. I really want these boys.
Oh, stupid. What's the matter with you? Pick that up! All right, now. Put the guns down. Sergeant. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, sir. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, sir. Morning. Morning. Morning, sir. Good morning. So I got him right between the eyes. Morning, sir. <laughs> At ease, gentlemen. Where are the rest, Captain? These are all my men, sir. Eight of you? Against those smugglers? Yes, sir. Sit down, Captain. proud of you. You've done your country great service, and I'm hoping that you will continue to serve with the same fervor, dedication, and loyalty. We will, sir. Now, gentlemen, tell me, how would you men like us to pay you back? Sir, sir not necessary. necessary. That's right, sir. Help me, Captain. Any suggestions? Yes, sir. If you want my personal opinion, sir, I think these boys should get a decent rest. I agree. I was one week. One week furlough. Is that all right? Yes, yes, yes sir. Gentlemen, have a good time. Dismissed. Um, Captain Bertrand. There's something else. Has His Excellency arrived already? No, he's expected to join us in a few minutes, and we'll all leave together. Let me see. 
Hey. Hey, what are you up to there? Maybe you'll get lucky. But that doesn't matter. It makes a lot of sense. You better come on. I beg your pardon? Gotta go. Get some cheekies. Is that what you think? Be like you, eh? I'm not such a bad guy, you know. A lot of people think I'm really pretty nice. You ask my friends what a nice guy I am. They'll tell you. But I'm gonna tell you that if you decide to go out tonight, because I am, I... Okay. Except for one thing. I have luck with the ladies, Charlie. I'll show you. Here's an ace of hearts. any details, Colonel. Colonel, we need to know what mission... Yes, all right, all right. right. Are they trying to place blame? Press and what about his family? Sir. Sir, you know, what could you it? tell us what's being done to discover who's behind this? Well, uh, secrecy is necessary to prevent certain parties from uh, sabotaging the investigation. Uh, well, we have no word on... Uh, uh, here's Captain Bertrand. Captain? Suspected. Any particular terrorist group? Is it related to the problems in Israel? Or any survivor? Sorry, restricted area. Good morning, sir. Good morning, morning. sir. Morning. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Good morning. Morning, sir. Captain, I want you to recall all of your men. I've already issued an order to that effect, sir. That's what I like about you, Captain. You're always one step ahead. The Air Force search planes... They've spotted the wreck in this area. But because of the mountainous terrain, helicopters cannot get into this vicinity. Any survivors, sir? Well, we don't know. Until you and your men get into that area, find out for yourselves. And I'm still hoping that someone survived. Place, man. Up there. All right then. Is everyone ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir.
I know. It smells bad. Let's make our way down. Did we pass it? Not yet. Drink? Nah. Okay. I don't mind. <laughs> Body's running. Smells pretty bad. Here, it stinks. I'm calling for help. You better stay back. Yes, sir. Jimbo! Sir. Call up headquarters and request a helicopter to meet us at this point. Yes, sir. This is Eagle calling Robin. Repeat, this is Eagle calling Robin. Come in, Robin. Yes. Who is this, please? We've got your father. He's alive? Where is he? We want a million dollars ransom. I'll call you with our instructions. Hello? 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 Who is it? Colonel Revis. Colonel. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And yourself? Fine, thanks. Have you gotten any new information, Colonel? Colonel? Yes. I came here to tell you that one of the bodies is missing. I don't know if it's your father or not. Well, someone called a while ago and says my father is alive and... Go on. Go on. They want a million dollars. One million dollars? We can afford that, but they must ensure my father's safety. What about the instructions on how to deliver the money? Well, the man said he'd call back. I'd like you to stay in your room and admit no one but me, understand? Oh, incidentally, if that man calls up again, try to stall him. I'd like to put a trace on the... All right. Lock this behind me. Morning, Colonel. Carry on, Sergeant. How do you feel, Ambassador? I feel tired, I'm hungry, and I'm in pain. And I demand you call my embassy immediately and set me free. If it's money you want, to... Uh... We don't need your filthy money. We have plenty of money. You're in no position to order us around, see? Then what are you keeping me prisoner for in this godforsaken place? I'm holding you as a prisoner, so I can negotiate with your government for the release of my comrades. And what if your d demands are not met? I had no choice but to kill you. Mr. Ambassador, when I return, you will know if you're gonna live or die.
Sir. Room service. Who's there? Room service. Good morning. Good morning, Colonel. Hello. It's all right. We can manage. Breakfast, Colonel? No, thank you. Just coffee. Thanks. That's fine. Thank you. No cream no or sugar? No thanks. I'll take it black. It's waiting is killing me. What's happening? Why hasn't he called me back yet? He told me he'd call me back. Relax, Linda. The ransom money's been ready since yesterday. Why don't you do something? I'm afraid we cannot do anything unless they call. We just have to wait. That's all? Why not finish your breakfast, Linda? All right. It's a wonderful cup of coffee. It's like mud. Sergeant May. It's all right. It's one of my men. Sir, he was hanging around outside the room. He had this. Where did you get it? Sir Mape. Sir Mape? That's right. And I'm supposed to tell you that he wants to hear from you at once. He's upstairs? Want to come over to room 616? Linda Brandt, you have five days from now to deliver the money at the plane crash site. If you fail, we'll send your father's head in a box. That's all. I'm going to deliver the money. You don't have to go. Suppose they kidnap you. This concerns me, Colonel. I want to go, and you can't stop me. I want to see my father. All right. Make the necessary preparations. I can leave right now. Look, Linda, we're dealing with some pretty dangerous people down there. Paying them millions of dollars is no guarantee that your father will be returned to you in one piece. He may be dead right now. Plane. Tonight, sir? Maybe not tonight, Sergeant. When? Tomorrow. Sir, is this a cancellation of our leave? That's correct. Where's Sammy? He had uh, an appointment. Get him there. Yes, sir. That's all. Wait a minute. You want to go out tonight and have a few drinks with the boys? Well, man, I tell you, the boys and you have a good time, because me and the girls are gonna... Oh, no, not me.
Hello. Sammy, is that you? Yeah. Listen, man. You've got to be at the helicopter at 8 o'clock. Better show up right on time or I'll tell you. You'll gum it up. Captain was serious. Where do I go? To what helicopter? Be at the main airport at the helicopter pad at 8 o'clock. Right. Bye. He didn't get here yet, sir. Hello. What the hell are you talking about? What? Right now? Are you kidding? Why didn't you tell me? I'll be right there. What's going on, Sammy? Where's the fire? I can't believe I completely forgot they called. I gotta lie off the booze, man. This is crazy. Thanks, honey. It was great. Mm -hmm. go. <laughs> oh! Little boy! Here's her answer, Money. Linda, this is Captain Burt. How do you do? Hello. He's the one in charge of this. What he says goes. Okay, understood. Shall we, Captain? Yes. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Bye, Colonel. Sorry, sir. Get aboard. Yes, sir.
betting on something? I hope you're going to win it. Want to lay odds on that, Captain? Depends on what. Uh, I'm really not much of a gambling sort myself. They say uh, two to one are the best you can get. I always get better. I usually come up smelling like a goddamn rose. Better or not, you know what I'm talking about. I can make my odds, and I do not lose. That make me upset. You no, know, losing is a possibility. Not with the system I got here. No, sir. Hey. <laughs> hey. Let's look at it seriously for a minute. What if you ended up, say, busted, Charlie? You kidding? No way, the way I play. I told you how long I've been at this. You can't hold me down. I always win my bets. Unless you lose them. That's right. Uh, no, sir. <laughs> That piece is really nice. Yeah, but who the hell needs it? This is more like it. <sighs> this stuff's good. I can't take it. Better get used to this. Expect to be in constant danger. They'll keep coming at us for sure. Some place. 
Search the area! Come on! Get going! Hold it right there. What are you doing? Attack, I said! about any ambassador we just got a little carried away sometimes this just happens I go off no harm meant oh sure we get a little rough at times too but I'd always help an ambassador I'll offer my help in fact I'll make a promise to help find him where is he he said they don't have your father you liar you filthy liar where is he Now answer the question, where's the ambassador? And no more double talk. I would tell you. I just want to help you. Corporal. Sir. Take this man in. Yes, sir. Get going. and located the crash site again, but there was no one there. Captain, I want you to lead the search and destroy mission in this area. If you meet any military opposition, destroy it. I want you to bring back Ambassador Brandt alive at any cost. Yes, sir. Okay. Anybody have any questions? 
Okay, men. Get some rest. Move out at 0700 hours. Oh, <laughs> 
They're getting away. Come on! Take that side. Okay.
Gonna try to run it. Let's go. Sure made a hell of a mess out of this place. Sons of bitches. What are we gonna do about it? Kill every damn one of them. Let's go! You take the high road. I'll take the low road. Okay? Yes, sir. Of course, sir.
We can't drive on this. Follow on foot. So weak, sir. Go ahead. I'll stay. Sir, go on ahead. Why don't you go now? I'll stay behind and cover you. <sighs> sir, may I volunteer to remain with Charlie? Good luck. Charlie, good luck. Good, good luck.
Kid! Kid! Son of a bitch! Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. You. Welcome back. Thanks. Ambassador. Thank you. Sir, thank you very much. Congratulations, Captain. Captain Beltram, I must tell you, I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Ambassador, we're so glad you're back safely. Go ahead. Hello, Linda. Where's my dad? There. my father's personal secretary. I'm sorry, Captain. I deceived you. But I had to keep up the masquerade to save my life. I'm really sorry. But the ambassador completed his mission secretly and is already safe back in America. <laughs> 